Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome back to another video. Join me in front of my Mark 7 Golf R to go through a couple of like um, cool specs, specifications for your Mark 8 Golf R. Um, we've seen quite a few more on the road now in more real life rather than just images. So I wanted to show you those images and discuss them with you and yeah, come to a bit of a conclusion at the end, but really to help you lot out as well. So yeah, let's get straight into this one. You can join me back here for a bit of a conclusion. So here we go then, go through a couple of the color options of the Golf 8 R and yeah some of the specifications that you can get and kind of looking at a car in the real world because we're seeing quite a lot more now appearing in the uk so i thought i'd go through it so this one is in white one of the three colors that you can get and you can see quite cool how like um the blue light just across um the front really it really does kind of make the car quite nicely not 100 sure on the wheels myself but um yeah I, i'm white is growing on me is possibly the best color for the car um the gloss black kind of sides a bit work really well like I mentioned, the blue kind of lights, got the IQ lights as well. Um, yeah, it looks good. So if we scroll through some of these, it'll give you an idea of what you kind of have to expect. Good thing is, it's kind of like a um, the number plate blends in a little bit, a little bit better when it goes on. But yeah, you can see the design of that and how, yeah, it does look pretty mean, doesn't it, in white? <laughs> um, interior wise, I'm not going to go too much because we've kind of gone over that. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is with um, the new technology. I think, um, yeah, you, people can get used to it. We will get used to it over time, maybe not straight away. Um, let's see if we can find some cool images. So, yeah, you, yeah, it is pretty funky, to be honest, and the, the clever stuff it can do means no no ends, really. Um, panoramic roof. Is it a must for a Golf R? Um, I mean, for me, I, I love how the way the car drives, and that's why I like my Mark 7 in a manual, in a free door. It's just It feels a little bit more hot hatchy to me. Um, and with a pano roof, I guess I'm the type of person who worries about it creaking um, or leaking or, you know, whatever, or cracking. Um, and obviously the added cost on it, you know, it's, it's not exactly a cheap option. But, you know, when the weather's right, it does work quite well and it obviously does let in a nice amount of light. And it does look really cool when it's up. Um, so, yeah, that is that is quite a cool feature. And, yeah, a lot of our owners, I can imagine, going for it and, you know, is it something you'd go for? It'd be quite interesting to know in the comments, actually. Yeah, and let me know what you think of this colour. You know, I'm going to go through um, the others and the other kind of options. But do you think this is one of the better ones? Or, you know, I, I just think the way it blends in is quite nice, to be honest. I, I don't, you know, I don't see anything bad about it. I know it's hard to keep white cars clean and all this. But, yeah, when it is clean, <laughs> it certainly looks um, looks a business from where I am. Um, side on view, arguably not the Golf R's best look. <laughs> um, this one hasn't got like the performance pack, I don't believe. So it hasn't got the performance pack spoiler. So it's just a little bit more toned down. Um, looks quite chunky actually from there at those images. And those are the 18 inch wheels. I believe those are the standard ones. And you can tell that mainly because how much the disc fills the wheel. Um, they're big discs on this are bigger than they were in the, um, than the Mark 7 for improved stopping power. So if you do go for the, the step up, the 19s, obviously you're gonna get a bit more of a gap there, but yeah, that's that's what you're getting. I always think, I just always think they're like, they always look fake. Um, I don't know why, I, I just, yeah, it's never really grown on me, those that type of wheel. And I know I have Cadiz wheels on mine, but they don't look quite the same as this. You know, this just looks like a hubcap, which is shiny. Um, yeah, not even an alloy. That's just from where I am anyway, <laughs> that's what I think. Um, rear quarters, you can't be a rear quarter shot. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't tell this apart from any other golf, to be honest. I mean, yeah, okay, the exhaust are a giveaway and the big R badge, but just looks like a Golf 8. Now, I have gone through the blue car before, but yeah, just as a comparison against the white one, yeah, again. And again, this is the problem with, um, so say like mine, sometimes the I find with Golf Rs, the, some of the extra sort of special tones and stuff that they have kind of on the outside. And I guess this is what makes a Golf R, it kind of is discreet. Kind of get lost in the look. And you can really see how the front of that that blue, I know it's a different type of blue to the Lapiz blue that they've got on um, on this car. But it does get lost, doesn't it? That nice touch gets lost. But I do believe that does light up as well. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I've seen that on like an EQC, I think one of the Mercedes, one of the stupid expensive electric Mercedes. And yeah, it certainly, you don't miss it coming. Um, so yeah, there you go. And in blue, yeah, it's the standard default Golf R colour. It's what people remember the Golf R for. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think of this one in comparison to the white one? And um, yeah, what we come up to next. These are all pretty standard 
gold vase as well. You know, there's no Akrapovich, there's nothing special. I don't even believe this one has a, a sunroof. Um, but a lot of people kind of like that in the gold vase. You know, you might be getting on a lease or something like that. You just want to keep the costs down. You might just want the 320 brake horsepower. But yeah, here's basically just an overview of um, of the images there with the side-on view shown also. Just as a bit of a comparison, this is the car with a panoramic roof and obviously all sort of glistening in uh, under the showroom spotlight. Um, and I believe actually behind that is a club sport, so they've clearly got a few at this dealership. Yeah, I mean, does the sunroof make a car? Does it work well with the gloss black? I mean, it certainly doesn't look bad from, from these images, does it at all? And um, yeah... Any colour can look good when it's proper shiny and under the spotlight, but you've got to think about living with this car. Um, but then at the same time, which one looks the best when it is under the spotlight and looking good? So yeah, it'd be interesting to know your thoughts in the comments what you think about these two. Now obviously quite a rare colour, I guess. Um, maybe not the most popular choice in the UK, but a Golf R in black has probably been the, mo is the most subtle car you can get. Um, particularly with the fact that all the gloss black parts get blended in. Now I've chosen this car on the configurator um, because... It's got the performance pack, which also comes with a 19 inch wheel. So you get the, a little bit of a, a gap between the discs, particularly at the rear, but then that's just expected. And this one I've stuck the Acroprovage exhaust on. Let's ignore the high um, <laughs> price tag and just focus on the images. What do you think a stealth car like this? And um, yeah, be really interesting to see these kind of cars in the flesh. I think, does the blue caliper kind of give it away? Would it kind of ruin, ruin that kind of black on black effect? Um, or would you just simply just change the colour of that? I mean, if you've got nearly £50,000 to spend on a car, you probably could do a small modification just to, yeah, change the colour. But yeah, if we click, if we click on um, gallery, you can kind of see it through there, just from the, some of the images. And obviously this one's got the Akrapovich exhaust. Does that look better than the white? Does it look better than the blue? Is it something that could kind of make a golf R and R, you know, you're not going to miss, well, we, you probably would miss this car coming, it looks like a little pamphlet, really, um, the spoilers, the spoiler is huge, that's one thing, and, you know, I check back on other videos I've done um, of the car, you know, it's, it's big, and actually, the blue light does translate quite well into the caliper, so you've got that shown there, um, so there are advantages. In the UK, it's such a shame that we're we're limited with the options that we have with just black, white and blue. But out of all the cars that I've seen and I've kind of gone through, um, at first I was like, oh, it's got to be the blue. It works best with the calipers and it's a traditional Golf R colour. But then you see the black and you're like, actually, the black works quite well. And black does look good on all cars, really. It's a, it's a very good car. It's a very good resaleable car as well. That's if you really want to look at it that way. Um, but then white's kind of, white I think highlights the bits of the car that they VW tried to work on. Um, that's from my personal opinion. So the gloss black bits sh shine a little bit more. The blue uh, brake calipers shine a bit more. The blue lighting LED at the front of the car shine a bit more. Um, and that looks quite cool. And it looks pretty sleek, doesn't it? Particularly with a panoramic roof as well. Um, but... <sighs> you've really got a completely different choice in car from the colour. The colour is the absolute main thing, and it's such a shame we're just restricted on options. I'm still always jealous of the Mark 7 7.5. I've done videos on the past with like, people in Australia or in America, and they have like orange and green and purple edition colours to choose from for their car. Um, and I'm sure you're going to get more options than we do here. Um, for whatever reason, they just don't. Um, obviously it helps with um, production for them but yeah let me know your thoughts uh, obviously in the comments um, just going through these three um, yeah which which one would you choose this is mainly just in the color and the kind of the aesthetics of it and kind of this is basically all the options that you have to decide from and which which would you mix and match that's um that's the interesting part but yeah let's uh let's head back and i'll um, yeah i'll have a bit of a conclusion outside so yeah let me know what you thought of those um images in the comments below which one would you go for which specification would you go for um yeah go for the subtle look go for a bit more out there it's quite cool seeing them in real life um rather than sort of sort of still images you know i like seeing them on dealer forecourts i've done images in the past um i still think like those rear lights could come quite cool um you know it, it it did look it did look pretty good some of the features that you can get on the car um but yeah kind of gone through my thoughts there let me know your thoughts in the comments below which one would you go for how would you specify yours and um yeah 
as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Let's hope this day is bright and sunny. And um, yeah, have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.